you were raising money, I forget which round, and no one was really that interested. And so he tweeted your revenue growth chart yes, anonymously, like he didn't say it was your company. And suddenly, lots of interest. Yes. Do you feel like that was just people weren't interested in like the cleaning business? Or do you think it's because you're a woman? I I mean, honestly, I, I obviously I don't know the actual answer to that. It's mm-hmm. I don't think it was the cleaning business. I think everyone was into the on-demand model at that point. So if you could like shove any sort of sort of vertical in that, you sort of could probably raise money if you're growing really fast. And so, yeah, then the other what are the other factors that could be? It could be a female founder. You know, it could be a number of things. I mean, I remember at some point I actually asked Aaron to stop coming to meetings with me because it was like. Hey, I'm the I'm the CEO over here. Ask me the questions. These are questions I can answer. Um, and because I'm an engineer too, I didn't need like I didn't need Aaron in the room with me. I could just answer all the technical questions, all the product questions, and business questions. And I think that helped me a bit, like them just focusing on me as being leader of the company. Oh, interesting. It's such a familiar story. Co-founder, male, female. The investors only talk to the male co-founder. We hear that a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's a little bit frustrating. But yeah, I, I, I'm sure that was part of it. it um, but, you know, who knows? Who knows?